starting off episode 3 a little early at map 19. Um, I don't know if it's your tradition for episode 3s to start with uh, a Tyson level. I've seen it a few times. This one is one. Um, it's pretty rough. I mean, Tyson levels are always kind of rough. The, the one at the start of uh, episode 3 of Speed of Doom made me want to kill, kill uh, Joshi and then myself. But this one's not so bad. It's mostly a, a couple of nasty encounters involving arch files, miscellaneous imp squashing. Um, it gets kind of obnoxious because of all the exposure. And then a uh, finale at the end where you're given a regular shotgun and you feel so empowered. So, I don't know if you can really see it in that far building over there. There's an arch file. So you have to use these uh, pairs for cover. It's harder than you'd think because um, you really need to be bouncing around when your only weapon is the fist. Like, you know, kiting enemies, dodging around. It, it, it sucks to have any maneuverability taken away. But thankfully, you can punish them. The nice secret telefrag that also gets you a megasphere, or excuse me, soul sphere. punching those guys to death. It takes forever. And their hitbox feels weird. It's not as bad as trying to punch a man to death, which is damn near impossible. Like, you can't get close enough to actually hit him. Scrounge up any health. I also woke up a cap with you, and I'm uh, ignoring it at my peril. Next fight is against a uh, file and a. Not sure what the guy is. There he is. I'm make the switch here. He's already resurrected the uh, revenant, but then I realized why stay fight this out. Just run away. Three switches opens the exit, and the first one you hit will also dump three, uh, three of these evil faces on you. Kind of mean. It's surprisingly hard to actually kill these guys with just the regular shot. I don't have that kind of ammo, so I just run for it. Almost get killed in the back. 